So, in this video we are going to see some properties of vector spaces. And I'm, we are just quickly going to uh, remind what a vector space over a given um, K field is. So, V will be an unempty set and K will be this given field. Okay, so we are taking u and v vectors in the vector space. Okay, and we are going to take um, scalars. Let me call it a and b scalars in the field. Okay, so this will be vectors in the in a set. With the given rules, it will be a vector space, and this will be A and B scalars in the field. So, very first um, axiom to be a vector space, if I add two vectors, the addition will be in the vector space. So, considering only vectors, U plus V has to be in the vector space, so it will be closed under addition. Then we have u plus v plus w is the same as u plus v plus w. So uh, this is associativity, right? So you can add first these two vectors and then add this one, or first add these two vectors and add this one. For any vector, there will be the zero vector. So u plus zero is the same as zero plus u is the same as u, so it will be the identity for vector addition, okay? And uh, for each vector there will be a symmetric one, so u plus minus u will be zero, okay? And then we have u plus v is the same as v plus u, so this is uh, commutative, right? Commutativity, okay? So, since it is commutative, you can write u plus minus u equals zero is the same as minus u plus u, the same, okay? Because it is commutative, okay? So, these are the five rules for the, the vectors. Okay, and here we have the axiom for the uh, scalars, okay? So, a, a scalar times vector u will be in the vector space. a times vector u plus v, it will be the same as a times u plus a times v. a plus b, do not forget that a and b are in the field, okay? And u is in the set, or in this case, in the vector space, okay, for all A and B in the vector, in the, the field, okay, in the scalar field. So A plus B scalars times U is the same as A times U plus B times U. 9 A times B times a vector is the same as A times B times a vector. And here we have the scalar identity, 1 times U is the same as u times 1, is the same as u. Ok, let us check now some properties now. Ok, so some of the properties of a vector space, so we have a vector space over a field. Uh, 1, for all k in the scalar field, ok, we have um, the zero vector, if taking the zero vector in the vector space and any scalar, k times vector zero is vector zero. Okay? Two, uh, zero as a scalar here, not as a vector in uh, the, the field, and a vector in the vector space, zero the scalar. Here is the scalar. 0 times a vector is the vector 0. Okay? 
so although these two are the same uh, be very careful because this is the vector 0 and here is a scalar okay 3 if k times u is 0 that means that either k the scalar is 0 or the vector is the 0 vector okay 4 minus k scalar times u is the same as k times the symmetric of the vector minus u and that is the same as minus k times u okay let me do some of the proofs okay let us pick this one so k times vector 0 is the same as vector 0 okay so this 0 here it will be vector 0 okay that's what we are talking about here do not forget that the vector with 0 0 all its components are 0 okay so that will be vector 0 so we have a scalar times 0 okay but this is the same as 0 plus 0 because this is the vector 0 the, um, the identity for addition right so now we have k this is the uh, distributivity okay k times 0 plus k times 0 okay so what we have here we have k times 0 from here right is the same as k times 0 plus k times 0 okay now we are going to subtract minus k0 to both sides we get 0 here right and here we have k times 0 um, plus vector 0 so we get 0 is the same as k times 0 and that concludes the proof okay so 1 is proved let us pick now number 2 so 0 times u is equal to 0 okay let us produce a quick proof for 2 so we have 0 scalar times vector u will be the same as vector 0 so we have 0 times u but 0 is a scalar in the scalar field so 0 is the same as 0 plus 0 right now by distributivity this is the same as 0 times u plus 0 times u okay so we have 0 times u is the same as 0 times u plus 0 times u okay okay so now we subtract 0 times u from both sides what we get here here we get vector 0 and here we get 0 times u plus vector 0 here so we get vector 0 and 0 times u any vector plus the null vector the 0 vector is 0 times u okay so this concludes the proof so we just proved that 0 times u is the same as the vector 0 okay now for 3 uh, let us say we have k u equals 0 but 
let us say that k is not 0. Okay, so we have k times u 0, but k is not 0. Okay, so since that happens, k is not 0, so there will be a k inverse, right? Such that k inverse times k is 1. Okay, so vector u will be the same as 1 times u. Just check the, the vector field properties. But what is 1? 1 is k inverse times k, right, times vector u. Okay, so k will be by vector field properties, right, it is associative, right. But we said that ku is 0, so this one will be k inverse times 0. Okay, so what that will be? That will be 0. So if ku is 0 and k is not 0, u will have to be a vector 0. And that concludes the proof. Okay, I'm going to leave this one without any proof. If anyone is very interested in the proof for this, just let me know.